okay today's first problem is sin of pi by 3 minus sin inverse half and it is a simple problem its answer is half second problem is tan of half of cos inverse root 5 by 3 i'll give you two minutes Switch on it okay so answer for second question is 3 root 2 where 3 minus root 5 upon how it is to be done i mean if you just solve it using right angle triangle trigonometry cos of theta is equal to root 5 upon 3 and therefore tindrik knows so this is 2 there are two clear this side should be smaller than this side etc but it is fine and now therefore you are talking about you, this bracket you are talking about this Sir, yeah. root, root 5 cos hey, theta just is very pi jana, cos theta ah this is very correct people are sign it like no no but i have a gut one sale maza sagar and the credits when you lost to me at the very diagram diagram card on over over the matter okay please and that's okay so you are talking about this angle cause and now you are asking about half of that angle that to tan ratio so there is no other way to find out angle by sector b a c find out db db is bd is how much bd is equal to 3 uh, root 5 upon 3 plus root 5 times 2 that is your bd and bc is root 5 that is good so you need not have to worry find out cd it is tan is us so this quantity bd upon uh, cb is going to be equal to tan of theta by 2 so you have to divide this by root 5 so root 5 root 5 cancel if you rationalize you get 3 minus root 5 upon understood good question number 3 sin of 2 sin inverse 0 0.8 is it i give you two minutes all problem okay answer for three zero point nine six question four right angle triangle three four five four right angle triangle four three so this is angle under consideration Theta 4 by 5 when you point 8, and now you want what two times that angle and it's sign. Kara kara krishna kara gandhiji yana ruttar. Don't worry. Samadleka. Samadleka. Atta double kara jaya. Atta angle double kara jaya sa. Your right angle triangle do it to mota hoyna. Find out these distances and report sign of that. So the distance card is for double karu. Sir. Ah. Sign two theta is not enough. No. 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 Ah, sign and cause of like a already theta chain. Very good. Mother Doka challenge of Banda Lale. Question four. Find some of the cash look. I'm very sure. Find the value of Sir, sign off. Sine inverse 3 by 5 plus cot inverse 3 by 2. Uh, two and a half minutes. 
answer for this is okay let us solve quickly sin inverse 3 by 5 so you are referring to triangle 3 4 5 this is your angle theta cot of 3 by 2 that means you are referring to theta suppose this is theta or alpha this angle is alpha so cot is adjacent opposite okay so 9 10 12 13 okay so tan of theta plus alpha is as which is equal to tan theta plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan theta tan alpha. and all the values are known to us tan theta is 3 by 4 tan alpha is 2 by 3 1 minus 3 by 4 2 by 3 is equal to answer is 17 upon 6 good next problem problem number 5 find two cos inverse p upon root 13 plus cot inverse 16 upon 63 plus half cos inverse Seven upon twenty five equal. Three four minutes. Okay, so let us discuss. Now cos inverse three upon root thirteen will be some angle. Cot inverse sixteen by sixty three will be some angle. Cos inverse seven by twenty five will be some angle. So what is asked is two theta plus alpha plus beta by two. This is asked. Okay. So if theta is if cos theta is three thir three upon root thirteen. Then this is angle theta. If the other side is equal. Why? Ah, sorry. This is this is angle theta. Then this is supposed to be right angle triangle. So what does it mean? Right angle cot. Adjacent sixteen sixty three. This is alpha. So sixteen sixteen sixty three. You can find out the hypotenuse and beta is seven upon twenty five. So less than seven upon twenty five. This is our beta. right so now you have to choose which trigonometric ratio is going to be convenient to you because this is an angle so if you consider tan of this for example i mean you can do any one of them but if you consider tan of that then it is tan a plus tan b plus tan c so i said tan a plus tan b plus tan c but it is tan a plus b plus c so how, what is this formula Tan A plus tan B plus tan C, then minus tan A tan B tan C divided by one minus tan A tan B 
minus 10 b ten c minus 10 c ten a right so if we apply this formula we will come to know what is tan of a plus b plus c and if you know that number then taking tan inverse of that number you get this identity okay so what is tan a what is a here now a is 2 theta right so if a is 2 theta can you find out tan 2 theta tan theta is equal to 2 by 3 therefore tan 2 theta happens to be 12 by 5 you can do this using formula uh, alpha is as it is and this is beta by 2 so if tan beta by tan beta is equal to how much is this side if this hypotenuse is 25 and adjacent side is 7 what is the third side tan of beta by 2 are it triplet eh, na? Sangha wala? 65 huh? 65 65 This side is Alpha, alpha side is 65 eh, toh beta side is 24 eh, Ah, 24 eh, chuchar So tan beta by 2 you are supposed to find out and you know tan of beta Tan of beta is 24 by 7 so can you find out tan of beta by 2? So if tan of beta by 2 is coming out to be equal to 3 by 4. Is it right? Yes, sir. 3 by 4. Okay, so now you have everything. You do those calculations and you will get 0 in the numerator and something in the denominator. And therefore, if tan of a plus b plus c is 0, then what is tan inverse of 0? Pi. Huh? Slope? Tan inverse of 0 pi. is pi. Tan inverse of 0 is pi, slope? Zero. Tan inverse of 0? Slope? Tan inverse of 0? Zero, zero. Zero, huh? So, but then answer is zero or something else? Answer will be five because something else. Something else. <laughs> Correct. Something else. Rajivardhan he said something good because this is good angle, positive angle. This is positive angle. This is positive angle because of their domain considerations. Pass inverse domain consideration, this will give you some positive number, positive number and positive number. Therefore, sum of the three positive numbers cannot be equal to zero, hence it has to be equal to one. And you can always, I mean, you need to write those inequalities and you can always show that it will not be equal to two pi. It will be stopping at pi total. Okay. So, pi cast number for example. Pi ka sir, kasala pi. Karan ha akada kiti ha angle kiti ashnare. Cos chi range ka hai total. Cos inverse chi range ahe 0 to pi. Baro re? 0 to pi. But then if you consider this angle positive, then it will be 0 to 90 only. This one. This angle is going to be between 0 to 90 and double of that. So it is going to be less than pi. This angle is going to be less than pi, but definitely greater than zero. Cot inverse of this quantity, we can see that it is a right angle triangle and it is going to be a positive quantity. Right? Cot inverse it is going to be positive. So this angle is positive between zero to pi. This angle is also positive. This angle is also positive and half of this angle. So this quantity is zero to 90 and half of that so this this angle is less than between 0 to 40 this angle so if you write down all those inequalities some of these three will not reach to pi 
sum of these three will not become zero and therefore tan of something which is equal to zero can be either zero pi or two pi out of this this is gone and this is gone therefore pi survives okay so the total must be pi question number 6 Okay, easy question. Question number six one. Less than one minute. Cos inverse of cos seven pi by six. I am not stopping even recording. Tell me the answer. Second, tan inverse of tan three pi by four. Uh, sine of cos inverse three by five. Chalo, show me all three answers. Total two minutes. Okay, answer for first was very easy. Five pi by. Six. Okay. Tan three pi by four. Tan three times pi by four. That means this ray. What if I remove this ray? Is going to give you. This value of tan. This is going to tan of. So this will be tan of three pi by four, which is minus one. So tan inverse of minus one will take you to this minus pi by four. Right? I would have said both. Sir, so I had shown you minus pi by four, but then you said it's wrong. Is it? Then I think I, I think this minus sign I missed. Okay. You did the same for me. Yeah, it might be there is some problem in C. So okay, if you have got it correct, then it is fine. And the third answer was four by five. That was easy. Question seven. Prove that. Sine of cos inverse. Is equal to cos of sine inverse. Two minutes. One thing which you should use, and then it becomes very easy, is sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by two. This is important identity. So cos inverse x can be substituted as pi by two minus sine inverse x here, something like that, and then you can expand it because it is sine of two angles, and then put the values and then do it for RHS, and you get the proof. Done. Question eight. Sine inverse of cos. Of inverse x plus cos inverse of sine of cos inverse x is equal to question number nine. Find cosec inverse. Sorry, sec half sec inverse x plus sine inverse one upon x is equal. 
three minutes. Answer for this is pi by four, easy one. Solve for x. Let me change color. Question 10. Solve for x. Time inverse x plus 1 upon x minus 1 plus time inverse x minus 1 upon x is equal to tan inverse minus 7. Three minutes. Okay, in this problem, what we need to do first is, of course, solve it. Solving means taking tan of both sides because this is an angle, LHS is an angle, and RHS is an angle. And it is supposed to be, they are supposed to be equal. So taking tan of both sides, you get tan LHS is equal to tan of tan inverse minus seven. Yes or no? And Tan of tan inverse is safe. Tan inverse of tan is difficult. Trigonometric function followed by inverse trigonometric is safe. It is regular inverse function. So RHS is going to be minus 7. Easy. And LHS it is summation of two angles. So tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan a tan b and tan of tan inverse is the main function which is there inside therefore tan of LHS which all of you must have done so I am doing it very quickly x plus 1 upon x minus 1 tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus x plus 1 upon x minus 1 into x minus 1 upon x. So to, can you tell me after simplification what do you get here? Or shall I do it? x square x square x square plus x square that is 2x square. This is x and this is 1 minus x1 one survives minus x plus 1. 1 X. One minus x. One minus x square. One minus x. One minus x in the denominator. Sir, x minus one. Mantan karache kata x square minus x square is gone. Ithe raila kon raila ithe minus x raila. So minus x. Barabar hai. Plus one. Minus x plus one. What are they? Okay. And now this you would have equated to minus seven and got x is equal to two, which is wrong. Because we are dealing with inverse trigonometric functions. Whatever you find out the answer x, so you should go back and original function is satisfied by that or not. And if you put x in these in these places, you will find the angle to be in the first quadrant because this is a positive number. X is equal to two will give you this quantity positive. Tan inverse of positive number is in first quadrant. Tan inverse of positive number is in first quadrant. So two first quadrant angles when added becomes really positive good angle, and it will not cross pi because maximum that this can have is plus for 0 to pi by 2 not equal to pi by 2 maximum this can be between 0 to pi by 2 not equal to pi by 2 so summation will definitely not go beyond pi and it is going to be positive however tan inverse of minus 7 is a negative angle so they cannot be equal hence no solution
question number 11 have you understood after having done the hard work you are happy to show the answer x is equal to 2 but that is not the end of the story that is the beginning of the story and the trap for you 11 परत एक सोपा प्रॉब्लेम आला आहे थोडा पत्तो भी काय करणार वेर इज इट हा टू टेन इन वर्स वन अपॉन फाइव प्लस टेन इन वर्स वन अपॉन फोर इज इक्वल टू टेन इन वर्स के एंड के थ्री मिनिट्स Easy problem. K is equal to thirty-two upon K is equal to thirty-two upon forty-three. I think taking tan or some doing something about it. You can take this this side or something like that, and you simplify, you will get it. Next problem. Hey, now Arshita, you are not asking the question. I think I have discouraged you, or you have started thinking. What is that? <laughs> Or is there any no? There, there is no difficulty. No difficulty. Arshita. There no difficulty. Can you show me your face? I I I hope you have understood the meaning of what I say. Yes, sir. All for X. Tan inverse two X plus tan inverse three X is equal to pi by four. Okay. Answer is X is equal to one upon six. X is equal to one upon six, and one upon minus uh, X is equal to minus one. You will get it by solving some that equation, etc. But then this is not the value of X because it does not satisfy the given equation. LHS will become negative, and RHS is plus five by four. Therefore, minus one is not correct. Problem number thirty. If cos inverse p upon a square, sorry, p upon a, plus cos inverse. Q upon B is equal to alpha. Show that e square by a square plus q square by b square minus two. P Q cos alpha upon A B is equal to sine square three minutes. Okay, next question is solve for x. Thank you.
साइन इनवर्स एक्स बाई सी साइन इनवर्स बी इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स एक्स वेर ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वेर एंड सी इज नॉट इक्वल टू जे minutes okay so if you start simplifying you end up getting x both sides of the cancel it and then for one solution is x is equal to 0 and after further simplification if you do if you assume x is not equal to 0 and then do further simplification you get x square is equal to plus or minus 1 Plus one will make sense. Therefore, x can have two more values, which are plus or minus one. So, final solution is x is equal to zero or one or minus fifteen. So do we have to take sine and uh, then simplify of both sides? Ah uh, yes, taking sine of both sides. Taking sine of both sides, sine of this and sine of this, and then apply sine formula so that you get rid of sine and sine inverse. You end up being only doing algebra. Okay. If two angles of triangle are tan inverse one, tan inverse two, and tan inverse three, find third angle. And this is very nice question. It is not difficult, but elegant. Two minutes. Okay, third angle comes out to be equal to pi by four. How do you find it out? A plus b plus c should be equal to pi. So you can take you can take help of tan. to find out the remaining angle pi minus third angle is equal to tan inverse 2 plus tan inverse 3 sir azun ek method hai ha kya re tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a tan b tan c mag apan tisra x assume karun karu shakto 2 plus yes. 3 plus x is equal to 6x kare chal very sola Show that the value of x cos phi upon minus x sin phi. Minus cot inverse cos phi upon x minus sine phi is independent of x and find. its simplest well 